My friend, my friend, we're going to be playing Waltzing Matilda. This is going to be on page 86 of the 100 all-time greatest baritone ukulele groups. So check this out. When we go to the first measure, we're going to see that it has one sharp on the treble clef. That means it's in the key of G major. G major has a one, a minor two, a minor three, a major four, a major five, a minor six, and then a very special diminished seventh, which resolves to a one. G, A minor, B minor, C major, D major, E minor, F sharp diminished, G. So for this song, we're quite literally gonna use the G major, we're gonna use the D major, definitely gonna use the C major, and then we're gonna use the E minor. So we're using the one, we're using its relative minor, the E minor, meaning all the notes inside of E minor, E, F sharp, G, A, B, C, D, E, are all the notes of E minor, natural minor, and then all the notes of G major just have the F sharp. That last chord, as the chord is an F sharp diminished, but the last note itself that you alter from a C major scale is the F natural to an F sharp. So when we play this, we're gonna have two chords per measure, meaning in four four, it's gonna sound like this, all down strokes, those are four down strokes. That means we are in four four. So we'd have G, D, E minor, C. Those should sound very reminiscent of many progressions that you already know. Here's what we're gonna do for the follow. Follow along with me, go slow, and then we're gonna add a little pizzazz and look how you can change just a standard rhythm into something really special. G to D, E minor, C major, G major, back to the five chord, back to the one, back to the five, six chord, four chord, one chord. Here's our five, one, hold the one to our four, G to our five, the D. G the one to the five, six the E minor, C to the four, and then we're gonna go back to the one, hold it out, five, and then one. Now this is a way we can see the progression, but it doesn't make sense if we don't do it with some sort of tempo or rhythm. So what I'm gonna do is just hum along the melody line and watch as it flows. We're gonna have a open, 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 two, two, open, two, open, open, two, four, open, 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 three, 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 open, open, two, open, 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 two, two, open, two, open, open, two, four, open, 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 three, 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 one, two, open. That groove sounds like this. B, 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 A, A, G, A, B, A, F, I'm sorry, E, F sharp, uh, G. And then we're going to play open D, open G, open B, and let our third finger rock down right there on that D note, D natural. And then we're going to hold that out for the eighth note, eight, I'm sorry, I did a triplet, eighth note, eighth note, quarter, and then B have our open G to a two, which holds. Now that is an eighth note, so we'd have So basically, anytime you see an eighth note in the song, it's going to be a lead in to the next measure, the phrasing. Open two, open, open, open two, two. Open two, open, open two, four, open. So we're gonna see how that's a recurring theme. B, 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 A, A, G, A, B, G, E, F sharp. G, D, G, B, D, 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 C, A, G. That's the end of the phrasing. It does the same thing for the wanting Matilda, but we're gonna hang out on the D. And you're gonna love this because it's gonna sound great over the top of G. When we play G and include that D, it's inside the chord, but what I like to do is like a... down to that C and hammer onto that D. It always sounds so good. Okay, here it is with a little pizzazz for the waltz and Matildas. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Here are the 
chords. No sauce way man sat behind a billy bong and under the shade of a coco tree and he sang and he sang waited till his billy boiled you come on one sing Matilda with me all sing Matilda all sing Matilda you come on one sing Matilda with me he sang and he sang and he waited till his Billy boiled you Come on, Bob, sing Matilda with me Da came a jump up Drink a Billy Pong Up jumped a swag man And grabbed him with glee And he sang and he shoved him back Down into his burger bag You come on, Bob, sing Matilda with me Bob, sing Matilda Bob, sing Matilda Tucker bag, well you come along, sing Matilda with me. I would say that keep it a certain volume, but when I go to do finger style, since this song is in G, I like to keep that D kind of going, but you could alternate it between the D and the G if you want. this alternating back and forth movement. I hope you had fun. I sure as heck did. See you next time.